What's happening, baby? How you Good doing, to see Joe? you, brother. How you doing? And we're drinking Bud Lights, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, guys. Sorry. We're fucked. There's nothing wrong with it. Mm -mm. Mm. People are so cheer, sir. Cheers, brother. These people are so silly. We were just talking about how silly it is. One person made a really stupid decision. And now everybody's decided that Bud Light is the enemy. But that's like this thing that people do in America where they just decide, now I hate these, these people. These people are the enemy. And, you know, and, and it's they, over. Yeah, and it's over. The reason I've drinking Bud Light and Budweiser like my entire adult life. And then on, on Twitter, I defended my, my sister's spouse. And people were like, people were pissed. And I was like, I'm so, I didn't mean to do this. It was crazy. And Travis Trick came after me. And I was like, he didn't come after me. Travis Tritt is so respectable, and he's like a good guy. And I met him at the Two Step Inn where you were, and it was just it was cool to get to talk to him about it and see like two different views. And it was yeah, it was cool sitting in the room with him and hearing it. Well, you know, people just the culture war in this country is so goofy, it's so overblown, and a lot of it is people just not talking to each other. It's people talking through social media and talking through narratives, and it's just it freaks me out. Yeah. It freaks me out. And being so public, you too as, as well, it's so scary. I feel like it keeps people from being who they actually are. Oh, yeah. Which is terrifying because every time I get anywhere, I'm like, shit, man, I can't say or do this. And then when you do, it's fucking, it's crazy. <laughs> it's psychotic. There's a lot of self-censoring. But I, know. I think it's important to speak your mind. I think it's getting better. Yeah, it's just more people have to do it. And then more people, you know, people are worried about the repercussions. But you have to understand that when you're a person like yourself or a person like me, you're communicating to millions of people. And so you're going to have a certain percentage of them that are upset at everything you say. Whether you say you like to eat meat or whether you say you think Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is a good guy or whether you think that... You know, whatever the fuck you think. And you only have one, you only have one life, man. Allegedly. And, yeah, I guess. I'm not sure Whoa. about that. I'm not sure about that. I, uh. <laughs> you ever have a feeling you've been here before? No, I, uh, I saw your podcast like two years ago, two years ago about the infinity thing. Yeah. And I kept telling people about it, like in Oklahoma and stuff. I'm like, what the? Isn't what it you... weird that that freaks people out? Like it freaks people out. Like I love life. I love my family, I love my friends, I love my job. I love existing, I enjoy it very much. But if I had to do this over and over again forever, for, for infinity, it's a, a weird feeling, it freaks people Have out. Have you seen that Black Mirror episode? No. Not to be that guy. No, no, there's no a Black I've seen Mirror a bunch of them. But there's I'm a Black Mirror episode where they're in a cabin, and this guy's in prison for infinity, <sighs> and he's talking to this guy over and over and over again. Wow. And there's the new one, the new season came out, and the same thing, they're in space, and they're like coming down. I'm not going to ruin it. Like, no, no worries. It's crazy. It's an amazing show. It freaks you out. And it's, it's my favorite show. It's, it's a good. great it's show. Good. My wife won't watch it with me. Really? <laughs> she thinks it's scary. She really? gets freaked out by it. Yeah, she doesn't like things that could be real. I you get know? that. I get that. A lot of people, like, when I bring it up, they're like, I don't know. And I'm like, did you ever see Heavy Metal? Uh -uh. That's the one where the robots are chasing this lady. Oh, yeah, yeah, the dogs. The dog I didn't robots. like that. I stopped watching oh. it. That one freaked me out too much. I was like, no way. That's so close I to real. Well, the one about the murdering, too. There's a one where this chick, like, murders. Oh, like, yeah. And she gets in this, like, white lie of yeah. trying to hide from it. Yeah. And, like, she's, Crocodile. like, hiding it from her kids and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Wow. It's just, it's so close to real. It's so close to real. There was a World Economic Forum video that they just put out about people going to work and wearing earbuds. Have you seen it, Jamie? The going to work and wearing earbuds that monitor your brain waves. And the brain waves are going to tell whether or not you're being productive or distracted. And in this video, this woman is kind of fantasizing about a guy she works with and then catches herself doing it. And then some guy gets busted for like... Is this a show? What is this? It's just a video explaining how in the future you're going... See if you can find it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm seeing the people talking about it. Dude, you saying this reminds me of yesterday. I was in Walmart and I was like walking around and I was like looking for something to buy. And one of the girls I asked the question to, she had an AirBud in or an AirPod in. Mm -hmm. And I was like, why would you do that? You're like walking around work and people are asking you for help and stuff. And she's just walking around like listening to it. She's like talking to people. with And listening to this music. Yeah. Kids do that today. My, my kids do that. They're like, yeah, I have one ear open. I was kind of, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to be an ass, but I was like, I was talking to the guy at the, the, the here it is. Yeah, that's that it. it. Check that this it? out. Okay. Yeah. Check Sorry. this video out. This is, this is bonkers, dude. Over. This is really. Your cursor to the left and scroll through your brain data over the past few hours. You can oh, it's like one of those stress levels rising training videos. As the deadline to finish your memo approach. Yeah, and she's wearing these earbuds. A peak in your beta brainwave activity right before an alert popped up telling you to take a brain break. 
But what's that unusual change in your brain activity? This is not the one I saw. Okay. There's I was another one that I saw that's that's uh, scarier than a Black Mirror episode. But man. this the, the other one's more scary because it talks about like self censoring at work and monitoring your thoughts at work. I can see it. God, I sent it to somebody. I can see it. Fuck, did I well, send it to? I mean, this video on TikTok seems like I just saw the brainwave thing you just said. Oh, come on, like that. That's the same video. Yep, this is it. This is it. This is oh, it. it's just a little later this in there. This is it. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I had only seen part of it. That's it. Keep it rolling. Feelings. Helen, when she checks your brain, brain activity. Oh, you got two going. Oh my God, this is a nightmare. <laughs> this is <laughs> Black Mirror. This is what I hear at night. <laughs> email she sends you later that day. Congratulate you. Oh, this is fine. Let this play. The past quarter. No, it's Did before this. It's before this where she's fantasizing about this guy that she yeah, it's it. That's the guy. So How do you smoke pot and watch stuff like that? I love it. That's crazy. Back up. But you can't help fantasizing. Mind starts to. Can you take a quick look at my brain data? Anything to worry about? The doctor. Your mind starts to wander to the new colleague on your team. No way. Know you shouldn't <laughs> Come on. About, given the policy against intra-office romance, but you can't help fantasizing. <laughs> But then you start to worry that your boss will notice your amorous feelings when she checks your brain activity. What? Shift your attention back to the present. Imagine when all the you shitty things you've thought of at work. I know. And your boss knowing. Later that day. Congratulations, Congratulations on your brain on your metrics. Brain metrics from the past quarter, which have earned you another performance bonus. So you get you bonuses. Jamming to the music, with your work for with thinking your brain have been a certain way. When you arrive at work the next Where is this going? Fr- a cloud has fallen over the office. Along with emails, text messages, and GPS location data, the government has subpoenaed employees' brainwave data from the past year. They have compelling evidence that one of your coworkers has committed massive wire fraud. Now, they're looking for his co-conspirators. You discover they are looking for synchronized brain activity between your coworker and the people he has been working with. While you know you're innocent of any crime, you've been secretly working with him on a new startup venture. Shaking, you remove your earbuds. You know what's crazy about that? You know what's crazy about that? I feel like the world right now with all of our phones is the same way. Because your phone knows everything about you. Yeah. And people can do that. But it's not the same, but it's like... It's getting there. It feels like it. I mean, the idea of being able to collect data on everywhere you 